What we're doing here today is Ashley has cerebral palsy. Is that right, Ashley? Uh huh. And this is our grandmother, our guardian and caretaker, Cindy. How are you doing today, Cindy? Alright. And um, we're basically going to try to help them out because they're in a situation where they can't really afford to get Ashley a proper treatment or care that she, that she would need. And they're reaching out to try to help get this. Um, we're going to go through this and we're going to ask a couple of questions and find out what, they, what they're about, what they need, and what their situation is. All right. You've told me beforehand that you need the hyperbaric oxygen treatment. Yes. Yes. All right. Could you give me an explanation of what you think that is? It's um. You want this one? Or go. Ahead. You want me? You can go ahead. It's um. Maybe. Well, what I've been told from Grandma is maybe to help me with my hands or my legs to help me walk. Help you walk. Yep. Um, I notice you're currently in leg braces. Have mm -hmm. you had any physical therapy? Um, physical and OT. We have occupational and physical therapy. Yeah. Is um, that what you do every week? Every Wednesday. Yeah. Every Wednesday. Okay. Where do you normally get that done at? We drive to Soccer's Tea. The place is called Next Step. Mm -hmm. Next Step. Yeah. Next Step. Okay. Yes. Hey guys, I just wanted to go ahead and step out right here real quick in the video. I want to kind of explain what a hyperbaric oxygen treatment is. Hyper means to increase and baric is related to pressure. The hyperbaric oxygen therapy thus is the intermediate treatment of the entire body with 100% oxygen or greater than normal atmospheric pressures. The earth's atmosphere normally exerts approximately 15 pounds per square inch of pressure at the sea level. That pressure is defined as one atmosphere absolute, abbreviated as one ATA. In the ambient, in an ambient atmosphere, we normally breathe approximately 20% oxygen, 80% nitrogen. While undergoing the, the treatment, pressure is increased up to two times and in 100% oxygen. So that would be 2 ATA with 100% oxygen instead of 20%. In this surgeon's monoplace mono chamber, utilized with the entire 100% oxygen, there is no need to wear a hood or mask. This increased pressure combined with the increased oxygen basically dissolves oxygen into the blood plasma and all the body cells and tissues and fluids up to 10 times its normal rate. What this would mean for Ashley is it would promote blood cells growing, promote muscle growth, and things of that nature. And it could sustain her to her ability that she could be get her legs strong enough so she could learn to walk and possibly do other things that we'll discuss later in the video. Just wanted to step out and let you guys give a background on what the actual treatment is. Alright, I'll get back to the video. Yes, sir. I started to say this when I She has a current, so she has a, a regular wheelchair. Um, what is the current? This is just a loaner because yeah. hers stopped. She has an electric wheelchair yeah, but, but the motor the right motor quit and it won't move the man is coming. and it's too hard for Miss Wanda to push the man is coming very to, hard to push the man so. is coming today to okay um Miss Wanda um you probably noticed the cut there guys and this is Miss Wanda this is her one-on-one -on -one caregiver it's going to go and let you meet her um Miss Wanda how long have you been working with Ashley uh since the sixth grade sixth grade mm -hmm. what grade are you currently Ashley yeah. Damn, cool. Mm -hmm. Um, where do you go to school at, Ashley? Stop. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, no, stop going away. Conway High. Conway High. High school girl. All right. Um, the main reason we're here today is because she needs this bariatric uh, oxygen treatment. And um, do you have uh, any idea what that's going to cost you? The treatment itself is five thousand, mm -hmm. and then we have like the motel bill, food, gas, and to possibly rent a reliable vehicle to carry her wheelchair in. So we're trying to shoot for ten thousand. All right, guys, we're cutting the video a little bit more. I just want to kind of explain to you how I met Ashley and the uh, the ideas behind this. Um, this video is not for me to take advantage of in any way shape or form this video is 100 percent for ashley i met ashley through a donation picture as you see here 
it was at the at the store that uh, my restaurant currently sits in, and she was getting no money whatsoever. Um, you know, she get, she had you know piddly annually change, and I'm like, this is a person I could help change their life. I have the means, I have the medium to address a lot of people and a lot of, at, at one time, and why I use it for myself when I could use it for others. Uh, one thing I've always wanted to be in my life was a firefighter or at least a volunteer firefighter, but I was never in good enough shape to actually do it. It could remain reason because I wanted to help people. And um, even though I can't pull them out of a burning building, I can um, let their message and let their pleas be heard by others. So this is the reason for this video and no other reason at all. Okay. Um, this treatment, how, how, much, how guaranteed is it to work? My understanding of this treatment is um, they have had wonderful results with children with um, cerebral palsy. They even had a um, brochure on a 35-year-old lady with cerebral palsy since she was born, just had her first treatment. She's doing great. Yeah, was that lady able to walk now? As my understanding, yes. Okay. All right, Ashley. Yeah, I got, I got one more question for you. Okay. All right. If this treatment works, what do you want to do with, well, with your newfound ability? Uh, I don't know. I don't know yet. Uh. You ever thought about walking yet? Yeah. But what's the first thing you want to do? You want to go to the refrigerator? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then what else? Um, I don't know. What were you studying so hard for over there at school? I don't know. In the little book you brought home every day. She's a permit. Oh. She wants to drive. Yes, she does. Yeah. Oh. We've been studying that. What? We've been studying that. Yeah, we have. We've been studying it. 